What's up guys, it's Matters and we're going to be talking about Richtofen's potential evil plan for the Black Ops 3 Zombies map Der Eisendrock. It's actually really interesting what he might do because Richtofen from the Origins crew, we've had like a lot of different things surrounding him and what he might do, the events that might occur because of his sort of like plans, his actions, his evil wrongdoings and stuff. And also our sort of misconception that is he actually trying to change the future events to help us or is he just trying to, you know, advance his own agenda? agenda as we'll read in a second or just do it for himself we're gonna go through a bunch of different stuff regarding him as a character and his sort of general plans leading into the giant and after the giant and obviously directly after the giant is Der Eisendrock within the origin storyline we have a bunch of different stuff we have Richtofen within the giant he already has the summoning key and he will probably bring this bring the summoning key with the shadow man soul the shadow man spirit um, to Der Eisendrock as well potentially try to take something there try to get something done there um, I'm not going to directly relate this to blowing up the moon or having a confrontation with the Nazi crew because that was like the whole other video we were talking about the alternate dimensions, alternate universes, and how both of these crews may clash again within Dreisendrock. But right now, I'm going to talk about Richtofen, the origins of Richtofen as a whole, and just basically what he may want to do in general for Dreisendrock based on what he has done beforehand within the same universe. So we're going to start off with a bunch of different stuff. First, I'm just going to play you something for the Dreisendrock trailer. And I think a lot of you guys didn't notice this. You guys were commenting. You were just like, oh my god, at 2.41, whatever. Um, did you see, did you hear what Richtofen said? It was crazy. Um, I'm going to play you guys that right now. What goes up? What goes up? Now again, obviously, he's like, what goes up? And then he screams, must come down or something. And he's like going insane. And obviously, that could sort of be related. Just like, okay, he's just really hyped that he's using the gravity spikes. But not necessarily. He seems really eccentric, really just over the top insane. Um, and even if you're using these huge overpowered weapons a lot of the characters that we've seen use wonder weapons like the shadows of evil crew and like you know maybe like the call of dead crew or like misty and all of those guys they don't like over exaggerate and scream like that like that's like the craziest scream we've ever seen from any character within call of duty zombies history like that he literally just is insane apparently and this also you know potentially ties into his evil plan as well um and again i'm gonna go through the actual storyline of him right now and then we'll see how this will relate back to your eyes and rock and what he will do there so i'm gonna read this here link is in the description um and yeah let's go so so due to him being sane at this point, Richtofen's personality is completely different. He appears level-headed but paranoid. He appears more unskilled due to him only being a field scientist at the time, and he does not really go out into battle quite often, but his attempts to keep focus nevertheless, you know, continue. Um, he appears more fearful of the zombies and is more cautious for his own survival. Um, in the giant, after meeting Samantha Maxis and receiving an explanation of the original timeline, um, you know, Samantha is telling the Origins characters every Everything that's happening with the Black Ops 1 Nazi crew um, and you know the Moon Easter egg, everything that happened there, Richtofen now becomes more focused to prevent these future events from ever happening, you know, as explained by Samantha. And he actually even shows disappointment and disgust to his future self before shooting his future self in the head. However, as seen in the later rounds of the giant, Richtofen's instability comes back as he's he displays actual signs of insanity and claims he hears voices in his head, which was from you know the exposure from element 115 and thus resulting in his original personality mixing in with his younger self. As it appears, if Richtofen is ma manipulating the other characters to advance his own agenda, as, you know, he was telling, you know, Takio, like, oh, he has a message from the Emperor of Japan, as well as him manipulating uh, Nikolai by saying you should remain allies due to an artifact that he possessed, and trying to convince him to help to find Maxis or something. Um, Richtofen also appears to be hiding something from the other three, as he lies while being asked about messing with his own dead corpse, and while pack-punching he may say, um, oh, I must remember, the others cannot know. Um, so all the characters are sort of onto Richtofen, and they're just like, Richtofen, what are you doing? They question him messing with his dead corpse on the giant. They question him on his agenda, his plans. Richtofen is basically only focused on himself. He wants to change himself from what he was before, but I think he's only doing it for himself, as we talked about here with the actual storyline. He actually really doesn't care about the other characters, and he just wants to complete his goal of potentially finding Maxis, and if you don't know, Maxis is trying to destroy the giant as well. Max is potentially on Moon, or he's on Dreisendrock. Richtofen from Origins will go to Dreisendrock, get something done there. Um, keep in mind, the Origins Richtofen also has the summoning key as well. That could be something that he's hiding from these Origins 
Ravens characters. Um, he got the summoning key before the giant, and then on the giant, obviously he's like, oh, look at me, I'm hiding something you cannot know or something. Um, and obviously that would be the summoning key. There's nothing really else he's hiding at that point. Um, you have Primus will fail, and it's like the four Origins characters, and the Primus will fail was found within the Shadows of Evil sort of map, and it was like a little thing that you you pieced together and you found that. Um, so maybe it's saying that despite Richtofen's attempts, you know, Primus will fail in the end. These Origins characters will fail. Um, Richtofen, again, he wants to get something done, and we're trying to figure out the exact goal of his evil plan, but something is brewing here. Something is going to happen. You have all this emphasis on the summoning key. Richtofen stole the summoning key. Why would Richtofen do it? You have this emphasis on Richtofen going after Maxis and basically enlisting the rest of the Origins characters and manipulating them to go after Maxis to go, to, you know, to go to the Drys and drop, continue, you know, continue through the Easter egg and the storyline and actually find Maxis and get something done here. You have him focusing on his own agenda. You have him focusing on his own future self and changing the way he used to be. He only really wants to change himself. It seems he doesn't really like want to change anyone else he only wants to change his future self from what it was before he wants to prevent those events from happening and it feels like okay well yeah he's trying to do good like oh he's trying to stop all this from happening I don't really think so. I think he's trying to do something for himself. We just need to figure out what that is. Um, again, we'll see. It's going to be something insane. Now you have Dempsey leading the charge as well, and Dempsey's a whole other ballgame because we haven't really seen so much of him now, and you would think Richtofen would be leading the charge once again because there's so much stuff surrounding Richtofen. Like I said, the summoning key, his plan to you know fight Maxis, his plan to enlist and manipulate the Origins characters, like so much stuff he is dealing with. Um, he's hiding stuff from the Origins characters, but you know, Dempsey's the leader here, and it's just makes it makes no sense with a lot of different stuff going on with these origins characters they own have their own personal little things i feel bad for nikolai and takio because it feels like they're just being like washed around and thrown around like oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that um so hopefully they get their own sort of identities and realize like what's going on with all this um but again we'll see what happens uh you know rick Toffin is freaking insane he's gonna do something insane in that map um whether it's against the origins characters whether it's against the shadow man or against maxis something's going to happen um and i think dempsey will probably play a huge role in that probably figuring out um Richtofen's evil plan and Dempsey will sort of like get Nikolai and Takio to say like okay this is his evil plan we need to stop him um and it's gonna be well like I said I don't want to theorize that much at this point because I want to go based off of what we've seen before for the storyline but for Jiraiya and Druk, something's gonna go down his evil plan will sort of come to light to these Origins characters and they will now understand what is actually going to go down and then we'll understand what the, his main goal is because we really don't know what his evil plan really is. Like, what's the point of his evil plan? We know it's there. We know it's going to happen. We just don't know what it's going to be. So again, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I think it's really interesting just to think about how Richtofen has all this stuff going for him and he still wants to continue and actually get something done and we just don't know what that is. So Leave a comment of what you think that is. Any theories you have for Jiraiya's and Rick Toffin's evil plan, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later.